Hello YouTube, welcome to Jasco. I'm Jason, and today I wanted to show you guys how to install these keyhole um, hangers on the back of this. Uh, it's actually a key holder I made, uh, so it's just a coincidence. It's actually a key holder I made, but anything you make, you can do a picture frame, you can do um, <clears throat> any kind of art you want to hang on the wall. As you can see, this doesn't have anything right now to uh, hang it up. So, uh, I have different options. I have a whole kit right here that has different hangers on it, hangers in it. Um, these are a good option. A lot of people use these. Um, I would use these, but I feel like this is a key holder, so it's not like it's just going to be hanging there. People are going to be taking keys on and off of it. So, something like this I think would be too loose. It, it could fall off the wall too easily. Um, and not only that, it doesn't sit flush. So if you could tell it like sticks out from the wall a little, I want this to sit flush against the wall. Um, I really like the way the keyhole fasteners work. I got these off of Amazon. There were 60 of them for like six bucks. And there's, there's different kinds of them. I like these round ones cause I can, you can recess them. And I guess you could recess these if you really wanted to. Um, let me open this bag. This is the other kind. These ones are nice because I could put these on there. And then the screw would just fit in there. Well, this, well, it's it seems like these are kind of shallow. Unless you use like a little wood screw or a drywall screw. But if you use... Th these screws came out of these drywall anchor kits. Which a lot of people use. Um, this came out of a different. This came out of this one, I believe. And then this is a smaller one. Uh, but either one doesn't seem like it'll fit in here. You, you'd still have to do some drilling to to get a little area out. And then on top of that, it still doesn't sit flush with the wall. Uh, so I like these, and uh, I'll show you how to install them. So normally, you would measure down from the top and, and center these, but since this is not this is the top of it and one house is higher than the other, it would sit crooked on the wall. So you're, you got to measure from whatever level area, and this would be the, the part I would want level. So I'm going to measure up from that. You can either use a, a square like this or, or a tape measure. I don't know where my tape measure is at, so I'm going to use this square. And we'll go up to center, and I want to go to like uh, two and a half inches. So let me just take a look at that. It was already like a little hole there. So that kind of worked out for me. Then I'll come over to this one, and I'll go up two and a half inches. So that's going to be the center. Now you can take something and, and mark it so that you... You stay true on center. It's easier to get your drill bit. I'm going to use these special bits for drilling a flat hole. You can use these. If, if this is called a, a Forstner bit. You can use these or you can use a paddle bit. But the paddle bit, the, the, the point in the front is a, is a little longer. Uh, so it's about this much longer. So if you're using something thin, it would work on this. But if I was using something thinner, like a picture frame, and I was just trying to get this in the edge, it would be too long. Uh, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use this one, and then I'm gonna put the tip of this right in the center. This comes with a tip on it, right in the center of where I want it, and then I'm just gonna go slow. And you can kind of see, it's really easy to drill it. Uh, I like to go in a little bit and then look at it because you kind of want it flush or else it's going to sit a little wonky in there. So I like to drill a little and then look, make sure it looks like I got to go down a little bit further on that side. I tend to drill crooked. If you have a drill press, which you probably don't like me, it would be a little bit easier because you don't have to worry about that as long as you can get this part level. 
So I'm going to check it again. Go on. These 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 aren't very thick. They're about the thickness of. I don't even think they're as thick as a quarter. So it's it, it's a good idea to just to wave it around a little. All right, let's check that. Uh, that's pretty close. Now, when you put these in, you want to make sure that, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, uh, one side's beveled, the other side's not, so your, your screw will countersink. These actually came with some little screws, and you want them to countersink, uh, so those are flush also, and so that's the side you want to make down, and it feels like these are kind of curved, so when I put it in this way, it kind of doesn't sit in right, but this way it sits perfect. Uh, so that, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go in just a little bit more, just a tad more. Now, if I was going to use something like this or anything that wasn't recessed and it was going to stick out from the wall, I don't like that. You ever see pictures, they sit kind of crooked because the top's pushed out. You can always use these bumpers. And you can put a bumper on the bottom and then the whole thing will, will kind of sit out evenly they make different sizes of these bumpers depending on what size of this you're going to use uh so i'm gonna say that's pretty good that's pretty flush right there actually i'm gonna take it a little bit more just on the one side seems to be not sitting flush okay so now you want the fat part to be down. Now you can, if you have a square, you can take a square and try to get it to look at it and to make sure it's it's even. Or you can just eyeball it. It's not it's not that big a deal. So I like to draw this on there. Draw the keyhole because we still need to bring it down a little bit. So now I'm going to flip this around. I draw the screw holes so I can see where they're at. And come a little closer. I don't know if you guys can see. You see the, the, the keyhole. And then I flip it upside down. So that way, it has to be thick underneath of that part. You have to get this a little bit recessed so your screw can fit in there. And then you actually... Because the screw, if you want the screw to sit on the metal, if you look on the other side, this is how the screw goes in, and then it goes up, and then it can't come back out. But if you see, it goes actually past the metal. So it almost goes to the top of the, try to get this in the camera. It actually goes to the top. So you want to bring this up even a little higher on the top part give that screw so it's resting on the metal and not on the not just stuck in the wood because if you don't get them evenly and then this one's you know it'll throw it all off so that's that now I'm just gonna switch you could probably use a chisel and chisel this out or I'm just gonna use another bit that's the same size as the hole be careful not to go too much into the screw holes. I got these from Harbor Freight. These Parsoner bits. I just got them the other day, so they're, they're brand new. Uh, they're a lot cheaper there than they are anywhere else. It's a little bit tricky to get it to go into the groove and I just take it down a little bit at a time no reason to rush it I'm going off a little bit I did it I did another one earlier on some softer wood and it was much easier this was a little bit harder I made this out of some older two lap boards I don't know if you can see that working I'll try to give you better angle here. So I just get that 
down a little. Back here. Now, like I said, you could probably chisel some of this out if you really wanted. If you had a smaller chisel, it would be easier to go this way with it, but this is the smallest chisel I got. It's a little bit too light, so I'm just going to keep doing it, doing it with this. You could do this part with a paddle bit too, or a Dremel if you got one. Uh, it's a little bit more work than the, some of the other methods, if, but if you want it to sit flush, you kind of got to do this. I saw another style of these on, if you're only going to do it for one project, it might be worth it to you, but I, I, I make a lot of these things for our Etsy account. Uh, our Etsy account is Jasco, uh, Jasco Goods. So, sorry, I put that upside down. So now when you put this on, you want this screw to be able to go inside of here and push all the way up. I still need to come out a little bit more. Uh, I like stuff to sit flush. Well, anyway, I saw, I saw one of these on, on, uh, Amazon and they had a lip that went down. So you would just drill this whole thing out and it was almost like a cap, uh, like a bottle cap. And it, when you push, put it in there, it had a lip, so it held it up. But those were $9.99 for two of them. This was 60 of them for, uh, I want to say it was like eight bucks or seven bucks. I can't remember exactly, but it, it was less than uh, $10, I believe. So we'll go down a little bit more. Yeah, working much better in this softer wood I have. Let me do a test. So there we go. Look, I could probably take it up a little bit higher. I don't know if I'm exactly sitting on the metal. I don't know if you can see that or if my fat hands are in the way. Bring it up a little closer. I'm going to take a little bit more out just to be on the safe side in case they use a fatter screw. Uh, this is this is a pretty big anchor for what you're working with. But if they decide that's what they're going to use, if that's all they got, uh, whoever whoever buys this, then I want to make sure they can use it. And it looks like it fits. It's a little tight. Take it out a little bit more. I could probably clean it up a little bit more with my Dremel if I wanted. So there you go. Let's see. Gonna look like that. Let's throw the screws in. And if you wanted to smooth this out with a this this is sliding pretty good. So I, I don't think I need to do anything else. I'm gonna throw the screws in it. Give it another test. Give myself a little bit of a guide hole there. Make sure you got this turned the right way. and slow so you don't strip it you can pre-drill these if you're not comfortable 
these screws aren't very long. So there we got it. Oh, I, I screwed this one in too tight, so it uh, it kind of sunk the metal in because there's a bit of a, a bow to it. So back this back out a little. And now I'm going to have to bring it down some more. I don't know if you guys like to shop at Harbor Freight. I get I get some things from there from time to time. Try them out, see how they do. Some stuff's not that good. Some stuff's pretty good. Depending on how, how you're going to use it, how often you're going to use it, what you're going to use it for. If you if you want to spend that extra money, so there we go. I got plenty of room now. And that's it. I'm going to just do the other side. I'll do it off camera and then I'll let you, uh, when I come back, I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so there you go. We got both keyhole hangers installed just like that and now when you go to hang this you can take yourself a piece of masking tape they got a they even got this masking tape at the dollar store you can put it on here like so you can cut off or just tear off the edges and even that is not a big deal then you would mark yourself where you want your screws to be just a little mark there then you want then you would take this bring it over to your wall I'm gonna just do it on the table I really don't have a setup it's kind of dark to be filming the wall all right and then you would Take this and level it with your level. And when you got it level, you put it on the wall, you'd mark your holes. If you're going into something solid, then you put some, uh, oops, I probably shouldn't have, I don't see where I put that mark at, but anyway. Uh, if you're going into something solid, you don't need any drywall anchors, but if you're not, then you just drill your drywall anchors and sink them in. So that's it. Let me know what you guys think. If there's any other kind of tutorials you guys want. And like I said, the, um, this is we sell these on Etsy. If you're interested in one, or maybe I'll do a tutorial next on how to make one. Uh, we make them out of 2x4s, as you can see. And that's it. Please uh, like and subscribe if you liked. If you liked what I did here, if you liked this video, then uh, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, uh, have fun doing your projects.